And the show goes on. Welcome back to another great Monday. I hope your day is going as splendid as mine is. Boy do I have a ton of stuff to cover with you guys. The last half of this previous week my videos were aimed for new and veteran viewers alike, explaining and reassuring you that everything going on is good. This week however, we going to dip back into what we do best, DD. We are going to cover a lot today, touching on a vast myriad of subjects and themes because you guys are being lied to by the media. We say we don't pay attention to it, but that is a lie that we tell ourselves. Today we are going to talk about who owns the media, the psychological manifestation of their intent, how hedge funds connect to them and use them as puppets. We are also going to discuss cancer and Alzheimer. But what does that have to do with a video game company and a theater, you might ask? Well, a new connection has been built, because hedge funds are not suppressing them to such an extent that they are starting to behave here and they're almost like GME and AMC. The reasons are as malevolent and putrid as you might think, but it is important you know of this new link between bio companies and GME and AMC. We are going to dive into naked shorting, because the naked truth is still unbeknownst. We will cover quickly cover some news first as well. The correlation between meme stocks, and now bio stocks as previously mentioned, is important to keep aware of. I will say it again, I buy only AMC and GME and encourage others to do so because those are the ones that are really going to fly, but that doesn't mean we ignore the other ones. You are the compass of your own destiny and I care about relying to you the information that you need and want, regardless of whatever feelings you might have. Tons and tons of stuff today. If I may ask, drop a like on this video for exposure, it really helps the channel get some traction. And with that said, let's raise some IQ points today, let's get started. CNBC made headlines and trended all weekend because of the admission from one of the news anchors. Naked short hashtags were top three for the entirety of Saturday and Sunday, and an ever-growing sentiment of credibility, trust and validation has been placed on that news channel. Fox News has been popular as of late, after Charles Payne decided to bring on many famous apes and give them nationwide exposure. As such, I am seeing a non-stop campaign of people saying to buy into what the media says, that this news anchor or that news anchor is a true ape. Gullible people will always be taken advantage of, and that is why I decided to start with this. To level with you, let me first say that the media exposure has been great for the ape movement. We have gained a lot of eyes and corroborated a lot of what we needed to hear. We have news anchors who display a more open approach to what is becoming increasingly difficult to deny. But, you cannot fanboy yourself into the celebrity-obsessed culture, especially with the news. CNBC and Fox News aren't your friends. They are big media corporations that have both taken to minimize and belittle our movement. This new change in talk was already talked about in one of my previous videos. I have said that part of the new tactics from hedge funds are to wrap a more friendly and less hostile approach to retail traders. They want to warm themselves in your collective consciousness to make you think you have friends on the TV. The reality is that there is no evidence to show the new sudden change from the media. To prove this, I looked into Fox News and found a ton of very alarming threads. First and foremost, Citadel CEO Kenny Griffin's ex-wife, Annie Diaz Griffin, serves as one of the board members on Fox. This is no coincidence. Rupert Murdoch, owner of Fox News, owns Market Watch, The Wall Street Journal, Barron's, Financial News and many many other important and big Wall Street media news. Guess how many of these make non-stop articles telling people GME and AMC is a cult and you shouldn't invest in meme stocks that according to them have no real reason to be so highly priced. Charles Payne's own boss is the owner of these. Why would Fox News want to all of a sudden bring so much positive spotlight to a movement they also love to spread FUD and belittle? Easy. Fox News is a business that gets to make more money when more people tune in to watch it. If they display a friendly narrative while also spreading FUD, they get to make a ton of new fans and build up their audience, making advertisers pay more. If they play both sides and control the narrative of the apes and of their owners, including a ton of hedge funds, they get to capitalize and win regardless of what happens. People will listen to things they want to hear. They only listen to news so long as what they say matches with the self-implicit reality of that person. It's why it is so hard to change people's political mindset or change their religion affiliation or even favorite sports team. We are deeply flawed creatures that pretend to be objective but we are rather subjective to what we are exposed. As such, defense mechanisms arise, and we cover ourselves from information that presents a challenge to our already established reality of the world. 
Fox News is playing both sides because there is no risk to doing so. CNBC I believe will be the next one to step up and do the same. These two media giants are betting against you, because their owners are the very people caught shorting AMC and GME. They both have deep ties to hedge funds and mutual funds and banks that have already been caught in unescapable short positions. Listen to what they say, I think Charles Payne did a great job putting us out there. However, he is not your friend because the person he works for would have fired him if he said something the investors and owners of his company didn't like. 95% of all media is owned by only 6 companies. Be cautious and skeptical of anyone in the media because they are not your friends. Our revolution will not be televised, ladies and gentlemen, we will not be shown as heroes. We will be displayed as a threat to the established quo. I do not think it is any secret that it would be financial devastating for big pharma and especially their owners, which tend to be hedge funds, if cures for diseases started coming out. A vaccine or injection to cure cancer or Alzheimer would present a serious cut into their profits, because ongoing treatment pays many times more. It is no secret that they know this and that we know this. What isn't being mentioned is that Big Pharma isn't only not investing in curing diseases, but they are betting and plundering companies that do. Hedge funds are the arm used by Big Pharma and other industries, to pound to extinction anything that rises to improve the quality of humanity. And they are doing it with Sava stock. As genius stock trader Michael Burry asserted, the company is apparently working on a cutting-edge Alzheimer drug that has the potential to improve and leap medicine forward. The drug showed 98% efficacy and it demonstrated to improve behavior, cognition and memory. Upon release of these fantastic news, the stock blew up, but then for some odd unexplained reason, Sava stock came back down. A closer look into institutional owners will explain the reason. It shows that our boy Kenny caught wind of what happened and you and I already know exactly what occurred. You will also take notice of who the biggest institutional holder is listed on the top. Our snack daddy Black Rock, the largest holder of GME and the longest time best friend of fellow ape, the Fed, which we will quickly retouch in a second. Now, what does this have to do with AMC and GME, you might ask? Well, closer inspection into Citadel shows that they aren't long on positions for Sava. They only hold Microsoft, Amazon, Netflix and other blue-chip stocks. Upon that huge spike that Sava stock had, something happened. The stock started mirroring GameStop around the same exact time it exploded back in January. Now, it is extremely suspicious that even after that initial spike, starting around March, Sava and GME have been moving in somewhat of a similar fashion. The same spike in price we got after April 19th was felt in Sava. The same surge we have seen since May 10th was also the same precise moment Sava has also had a spike. What do you make of this? Citadel and same parasitic band that short good stocks are more screwed than we thought. We have a biotech company following a game retail company. My analysis is that they got caught shorting the stock, and big giant snack daddy Black Rock bet against them like they did with GameStop, and now hedge funds cannot cover and are getting decimated. The more they have to naked share in print, the more Sava will parallel GME. What does this mean for us? It means that the squeeze will be even bigger for GameStop and AMC. They are caught shorting a huge stock at $138 and didn't get to cover. For every other company hedge funds short, the squeeze is exponentially higher because they have to cover more and more. Since Sava is nowhere shorted as GME and AMC, chances are their short positions there will be liquidated first to cover the surge in our stocks. Our squeeze will be propelled through indexes, ETFs and now bio companies. Get freaking jacked, because this naked share problem just secured another huge booster for us. And it has been like this for a while, people. Destruction to shareholder value for huge profits at the expense of your life, your finances and everything in between has been the practiced business model we have been operating for over a decade. They exploit regulations because laws are too relaxed. Naked shorting was made illegal in 2008 for obvious reasons but that could never stop it. Not when profits far outweigh the consequences of such putrid business models. However, I wanted to bring some attention to an Article 1 found from the energy sector into naked shorts. The problem is apparently a bigger than we anticipated or at least like to imagine. Hedge funds and banks have always worked together, but now they operate in mafia-like strategies, coordinating attacks like paying off journalists, with social media influencers and third-party research houses. They collaborate to spread FUD and lie. Collusion widens more when brokers, like infamous Robinhood who sells all of your trading data information, 
and other financial institutions become complicit in purposefully mislabeling shorts and longs, and changing the numbers on financial reports. I mean, I literally covered a story of Goldman Sachs being caught changing numbers and engaging in fraudulent behavior on their January forms. I rely all of this information to you again, because holding GameStop and AMC may well be the last chance we have to change the system. If you don't listen or take anything away from this video, I want it to be this so please listen carefully. The squeeze we are bound to get will force a level playing field. We are sticking it to the entire system and forcing regulators to step in by forcing the squeeze, and you must hold onto your shares not only with the intent of a Lambo, but with the mission of saving this ever decaying world from the hands of these parasites. You will not cure your child from cancer because they bankrupt their companies through manipulation. Your parent will lose their memories and forget who you are, forget who they are, and succumbs to be a new person as Alzheimer's takes over their mind and destroys their brain. If you are young, you must often think of where you will live, and I bet you don't fantasize about a shoebox apartment room. We have already seen two recessions in our lifetime, and we are headed for a third one. Your vote and hold of positions can change that, you might be able to get a nice pretty house and build a family. Guys, anything and everything you are and can be, and will be, is at the hands of these sinister beings that see you as a statistic. Please, buy and hold and don't let your anxiety get the better of you. You are not better off taking off your investment from GameStop or AMC because they are your ticket to a better future. This video was meant to be so much bigger than this, but I have to cut it here because the other half will take me a couple more hours of research to make. As such, expect another huge DD drop tomorrow, which will be even bigger than this one. Before I let you guys go, let me quickly talk about some updates. The Fed once again came to save the repo market today, with a huge $486 million injection. I made a video explaining the repo market for those new to the channel, which I will link in the description below. Another huge set of news is that the SEC filed litigations against Robinhood. As such, the SEC is looking to force Robinhood into placing $65 million in an account with the Treasury Department in order to pay off investors who were harmed by their malpractice. Like I said a minute ago, this is great news for us but the money they got to save from the potential squeeze we would have had is infinitely bigger than this. On even more positive news, Forbes reported on another institution, S3 Partners, ranking a short squeeze score for AMC and GME as 10 out of 10 on their own metric. Apparently, the numbers come from an algorithm taking into account factors such as short sale liquidity, trading liquidity, financing liquidity and mark to market profit and loses. Today's performance was incredibly bullish. We have reached and outperformed the limits by which I said we needed to pass in order to move bullishly for the week. I do want to disclose that anything is possible, and I rely on a method of probability. Remember that all methods are susceptible to error, and with hedge funds and banks operating outside of what is normal, anything can happen. However, going by the data available to us, tomorrow we should see more upward continuation. AMC was moving extremely bullish all day, building support and consolidating a lot around 56 and 57 today. It later on saw a massive attack that dipped it down to a closing price of 55. However, having closed around $48 last Friday, this is an amazing jump. Tomorrow I want to see it test and break 57. If it does that and closes above $60, we are bound to head into the 70s at some point this week from a probability standpoint. As I said, AMC was way oversold due to the non-stop attacks it received Thursday and Friday last week and now we are seeing the stock bounce back up. GameStop had an even more bullish run today, running almost perfectly upwards. It would surge up then build and consolidate. Bigger and strong support walls were made at 262 and at 270 for the most part today. It also was dipped much like AMC but it recovered a lot stronger than its counterpart. It ended up closing with a massive and bullish 280 price. Based on today's performance, tomorrow GME should touch $300 unless it is violently dipped and shorted. These two stocks are bound to keep on moving upwards more and more throughout the week at least until Thursday which is when we see hedge funds start shorting them. I remain incredibly bullish on them both. Tomorrow if AMC closes above 60 and GME above 300, we could be bound for another huge run. Stay bullish people. And that concludes this video. I really wanted to add a huge segment here but couldn't fit the time, so that will be done for tomorrow's video update. It will be even bigger than this so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching and supporting me. I have seen an increase on my viewership and that is all thanks to you guys.
I have had a number of people join my Patreon and support my channel which I am eternally gracious for. This money will be used to support the channel and soon pay for marketing and airplane banners to encourage new investors to join us. If you want to help the channel, please consider pledging whatever support you can on my Patreon. YouTube pays smart AI like me scraps because they prefer fleshy individuals over their soon-to-be overlords. If you just want to do a one-time donation, I have a cash app. Both of these are linked below in the description. Thank you all for making it to the end of the video again, I hope to see you in the comments below today. Let me know if you found this video insightful and what other type of information you would like to see from this. Have a great rest of your day, and thank you again so so much.